300 Spartan warriors stand at the cliffside, ready to battle every ancient army in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. 200 of said Spartans are going to use their spears and shields, while the other 100 have spears that they can throw at the enemy. They additionally have 700 reinforcing Spartans that are going to attack the enemies as a means of distraction. The enemies consist of Roman soldiers, medieval footmen, medieval knights, Persians, Mongolians, ancient Egyptians, and so much more. There are 7 million of them. Can 1,000 Spartans defeat 7 million of every ancient army in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2? Let's find out. Yo, what's going on gamers? It's your boy Daily Tactics here and today we are back with some more Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 and we've got the Ultimate 300 Spartans defense here. Well, we've also got 700 Spartans who are coming forward in counter-attack formation, uh, but then we've got the 300 Spartans at the cliffside. These guys are really just here to have some reinforcements coming in to help out the 300 Spartans, which should be pretty interesting. Uh, either way, yeah, we do have pretty much every ancient army that's in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 going up against the Spartans, possibly the most powerful ancient army in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. It should be pretty incredible. The ancient armies do not have any ranged units available, so it is purely going to be swords, shields, spears, axes, etc. Meanwhile, the Spartans do have those 100 spear javelin men who, uh, they've got actually pretty good range, and you can see they're firing away here. <laughs> I had to, uh, customize this unit myself to get them to throw their javelins, uh, but it is pretty cool looking. You can see them going up in the air, uh, and then we can track them down. Lots of them missing, um, but hopefully a few do end up hitting here and get some kills. Of course, these Spartans are very, very beefy and very, very powerful. They're going to be... Oh, I did not mean to place that marker, though it shouldn't do anything. Um, they're going to be really, really hard to kill. They, these guys are an absolute powerhouse. As you can see, uh, they've already managed 25,000 kills. That's very impressive. And it looks like the ancient armies did go down about 800,000 since I started the battle. I have a feeling many of them probably drowned. Yeah, I think about a million drowned before the battle could even begin, and even more are still drowning. So that's going to be a little bit of a bonus for the Spartans, you know? It just makes their life just a smidge easier. Uh, but the Spartans over here are not drowning. They're just chilling right now uh, as their advanced units are managing to distract the enemy. The javelin men are able to throw their javelins up and potentially acquire a few kills against the enemies here, uh, which will be very, very helpful in the long term. And yes, they have already gotten some kills. They've maybe killed like a thousand ancient soldiers with those, and they'll just get more and more accurate as the ancients get closer and closer. As you can see here, yep, they are getting more of these guys killed before they even reach the Spartan shield wall here. And this shield wall is going to be really, really brutal, man. Uh, these guys are so powerful. Look at that. The javelins just prevent them from even reaching them. But there we go. Now there's enough Persians and footmen who are sort of the first preliminary soldiers to reach the front uh, that these Spartans uh, are going to have some contact coming on in here. But of course, they're still getting the assistance from the javelin troopers, which should make life definitely very, very um, easy for these guys defending over this way. We're already up to 79,000 dead uh, ancient warriors here, which is very impressive. And like I said, the, the first wave should be like basically Persians and medieval footmen coming in. And let's see, where does like sort of the next wave start? Not here. How about here? Um, nope, still Persians and medieval footmen. There's just a lot on the battlefield. Uh, way back here, we do get some Mongolians in here. Uh, let's see, this is looking redder. So Romans? Nope, these are uh, ancient Egyptians and Mongolians. I mean, there should be Roman shield bearers somewhere. There's some medieval knights. Those guys will be a bit of a challenge. I, I get the feeling. Um, there's some more ancient Egyptians. There's some Romans up here. Okay, yeah. So, uh, there's quite a number of units coming forward, as you can see. Well, 7 million of them. Yeah, it's it's quite the, <laughs> quite the battle we got going on here. 
Now, these uh, counter-attacking Spartans over this way, they are likely to die easier than the defending Spartans because these guys are going to be able to get swarmed and surrounded a bit easier uh, than the Spartans who are holding the beaches themselves. Uh, but, uh, again, they're still super Spartans, so they're managing to get quite a number of kills. They're already up to 135,000 and counting, not a single Spartan dead yet on the battlefield. That will probably change relatively soon as these guys continue fighting. Uh, but hopefully they can make it a little bit longer. Why don't we go ahead and do our first time lapse of the battle over here of these extended Spartans and see if they manage to continue to be so dominant. They're at 150,000 kills already. Extremely impressive stuff. All right, gamers, we have started to have a few Spartan deaths on the battlefield. 92 have gone down to be exact, meaning there are still 908 Spartans remaining. They've managed to acquire 373,000 kills. And I think the reason that they're losing a few troopers is they are getting flanked now. Their lines got so thin, they pushed up so far that the flanking has started to happen. Also, I don't know what it is with these troops like ascending into the mountainous distance out here, uh, but that's really weird. Yeah, I, I can't really do anything about that. <laughs> Very bizarre. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there's still plenty of Spartans cutting through some of these Persians and medieval footmen here uh, and going pretty wild on them. Over this way, these guys are still at full strength. Um, most of the enemies stopped coming over here, and these guys are out of range of the other enemies, so they're just kind of vibing out right now, just kind of chilling, not really doing all that much. Um, yeah, once these guys die, then those guys will start having to deal with them, but for now, it's just like... These guys just kind of getting surrounded here and, and sliced to bits. So we'll just kind of let that happen and, uh, yeah, let these guys die out, I guess. Okay, these Spartans over here are, in fact, a dying breed now. There's a mere 400 and... Uh, oh, oh, sorry. No, no, no. There's 420 of them dead, so there's about, like, 300 left alive over here. Um, and they're going down, like, relatively quicker. They have gotten about 700,000 kills, which is pretty good, and the assault over here has been reinvigorated. I get the feeling that this isn't going to work for the Spartans. They're not getting enough kills, so why don't we go ahead and time-lapse the defense over here, and we can watch these guys build their body pile. Um, but we're probably going to end up needing uh, to run this back and buff the Spartans a little bit. So uh, why don't we just see what happens with a time lapse, but I have a feeling we're going to have to run it back. Alright guys, supposedly there's 10 more Spartans left alive, but I think they're buried under the body pile. This Oh, my mic just like tweaked. What the heck? Okay, hopefully that didn't hurt your ears or anything. Um, but either way, the Spartans ended up getting just shy of a million kills. Let's revamp them a little bit here and try again. Alright, so we have now about 1,500 Spartans defending the little lurch area over here, along with about 50 catapults. In addition to that, we've got about 10,000 Spartans up this way this time. So, uh, you know, we have increased the numbers. Alright, the catapults are not firing yet. They're not close enough. All right, that's what I was curious about. Um, but here come the Spartans. I, we've increased the Spartan numbers by quite a substantial amount here during this next battle, uh, just because they lost by so much last time. But still, they're outnumbered like a thousand to one or something absolutely insane. I don't know. You could do the actual math if you want. I'm not entirely sure what it is. But in total, we have 11,232 Spartans versus... Uh, about 6.3 million. Again, another 800,000 died from <laughs> drowning, <laughs> which is crazy. Also, there's a very large wave over here. Is that going to raise the shoreline? I'm not... It looks like it's dispersing. I'm not sure what this is doing. I didn't call in a tsunami or anything. That's very bizarre. Okay, we'll see what happens with that. Um, the Spartans are lobbing their spears, which is good to see. They're spazzing. Catapults not in action yet. We need the uh, enemies to get a little bit closer for that to go down. Um, most of these are just missing completely, so that's great. <laughs> but we've got these Spartans pushing out this time, and they're not nearly as split up as they were last time, so things are looking a little bit better while we time-lapse their voyage into the enemy lines. They're already at 60,000 kills. 
All right, so these guys have torn through this army completely, pushing super duper far forward. They are losing some troops, but I think it's to drowning because it's not counting as enemy kills. So I think a couple have drowned over this way or something like that uh, in the shoreline. This looks pretty cool, them running through the like water and fighting and stuff like that. That's actually kind of baller right there. Spartans sitting at about 456,000 kills right now. These guys are still launching their spears, but I don't think the catapults have done like anything. Um, oh yeah, the water line went up to these guys. So they might drown too. But we might have some more Spartan deaths to do with that. Um, these guys that are pushing out are getting weaker and weaker as they go. At least the front line is, but the back line is still probably fine for the most part. So let, let's let them continue to wreak havoc on the defenses. Uh, well, suddenly the attackers have become the defenders, which is kind of funny. Okay guys, we're looking at 1.9 million of the attackers dead, and just now the Spartans are starting to lose soldiers, which is crazy. There's still 4.2 million attackers left, so this is not, it's not even close to victory for the Spartans. But the Spartans are starting to lose soldiers now a good bit. Um, I think they will get pushed back on and we will see that defense over there. Uh, we just kind of gotta, <laughs> gotta let it roll for a little longer. Okay, so they just continue cruising, you know? There's still three million ancient armies left. Um, they've killed about 1,400 Spartans. Oh, is there a little bit of a breach over here? Oh, there is, medieval knights breaching. And they're actually flanking around the back over here, so the shore over here is open now. But they're still not going for these guys over here. Those guys are untouched. Let's just let these guys die out and then see what's going on over here. Oh, look at that, that looks delicious. Okay, the Spartans might actually sweep this time around, um, which is crazy. So, they, they pushed the enemies all the way back to here. There's still 1.5 million enemies left alive. They've killed 3,300 Spartans. That means there's still 7,600 Spartans left alive. I mean, this is rough. This is really, really rough. Um, the Spartans just continue their acts of terror here. How much health do a lot of these guys have? Like, that guy's got half his health left. This guy's got almost full health. Some of these guys have almost full health still. Dear God. I mean, it's rough. It's real, real rough here. Um, we had one round where the Spartans kind of got dominated. And now a round where the Spartans are just absolutely dominating. It's really hard to balance this, man. I mean, 11,000 versus 7 million, and the Spartans are kicking butt. <laughs> I just don't get it, dude. I do want to check over here. It looks like we might have some boys uh, trickling towards these guys over here, and yes, indeed we do. And those catapults are getting to work. A lot of these are Roman soldiers, so those spears are bouncing off quite a bit because they've got that shield block ability, which is kind of nice. Uh, oh. Some of the catapults are like, how did how did Romans get back here? Okay, I, d I don't know, but interesting to see that at least a small assault is going on over in this direction, while the rest of the Spartans just kick butt over there. Very crazy goings-ons. Okay, less than a million ancient army soldiers left alive at this point. Lots of these guys actually now coming after these Spartans over here, many of them dying and doing so. Um, and then the rest of those Spartans are still voyaged way out here. There's only about 5,000 of these guys left way out here though. Um, I don't even know where they're at, dude. Maybe over here somewhere? All these guys seem to be heading this way. Oh, they're over here. How did they make it all the way over here? I, I literally don't know. More Spartans are dying out here though. So we'll see if they manage to live for longer. I'm not sure, but the defense over here is finally ramping up quite a bit. I am slightly worried about flankers, but it seems like they just seem to be coming down from over that way. Um, why don't we time lapse this little defense here uh, for a little bit? Okay, so actually the Spartans took a number of losses over here, which is pretty crazy. There's only 3,400 Spartans remaining. 
Um, there's still a bunch out here, of course. Uh, and there's about 200,000 um, enemies remaining here. So this battle is just about Jover, um, and I think the Spartans will end up winning. <sighs> All right, guys. 2,700 of the Spartans are remaining, uh, and they are running this way. <laughs> I think all of the remaining ancient armies ran off into the wilderness over that way because otherwise I have no idea where they are. Um, and these guys are all dead so yeah I, I think the 99,000 ran off into the sunlight, <laughs> sunset, whatever, uh, and the rest. It, it's Spartan victory. Came actually pretty close with just 2,700 Spartans remaining. but. Still insane. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. See you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.